Hi guys, welcome back to another video. You probably read from the title, this video is going to be an Eras Tour Butterfly Surprise Song Garland. So basically, if you don't know what's going on, um, Taylor Swift, she sings two surprise songs at each of her shows. Well, at least two surprise songs. She's now changed up her rules and is going rogue, but that's besides the point. And each one of her songs are from an album that is associated with a specific color. I saw people on social media do different projects to keep track of the surprise songs, like I've seen blankets, I've seen somebody making like a really long snake where each row is the color of the surprise song, but I wanted to do something a little bit different, so that is why I chose butterflies, because I absolutely love butterflies. This is the sample that I have here. They're so adorable and they're so quick and easy to make. I think that this is a really cute idea, especially if you've been to the era store, you can just make the butterfly for your show. You could turn it into a keychain and always have a part of your show with you. I decided to make these for the first leg of the era store, which happened in the US last summer. So that means that it predates Tortured Poets Department and the crazy mashups that she's doing. And that is why the butterflies that you'll see in this video are only two colors and they only go up to midnight because her new method of doing surprise songs is just absolutely crazy and I wasn't about to make like a 10 colored butterfly. As always, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more content and let's get on to the video. So taking a closer look here, I have this spreadsheet. I'm not actually really sure who started making this, but I just found it on Reddit and they're basically keeping track of all the surprise songs and what albums they're from so i'm just going off of this i'm not including any of the south american dates so i'm just stopping right at la after she announced 1989 taylor's version so yeah as you can see each album is associated with a color and that's what i've done here so taking a closer look at the colors i'm sorry the lighting here is a little bit bad so everything looks just a tiny bit yellow but that's okay because you can still see the colors i decided for the songs where she sang it as a duet with somebody else on the stage i will crochet in gold thread in with the yarn for the dates where she had a special announcement which would be the announcement of 1989 speak now and then the music video days we will crochet in silver thread with the butterfly i actually started making the butterflies from the last la show and started working my way up i got up until santa clara night one where she sang right where you left me with aaron desner so my next butterfly would be red and debut and i actually do the guitar song for the color on the inside and the piano song for the color of the wings and then the body just stays white i just sat down to make the butterflies and i realized that i've made them for the seattle shows so i actually have to start at denver which she sang starlight and back to december so that's red and purple so i don't know how many i can make tonight but i'm just gonna try my best i'm not gonna stay up i told myself i will not stay up because that's just a recipe for disaster and i have time so it's fine i and i'm not really on a deadline or anything so i'm just gonna take my time so the reason why i wanted to film this video well there's actually a whole bunch of reasons one of them being I actually wanted someone to hold me accountable to finish this project because I'm notorious for starting projects and never finishing them. But also, I personally really enjoy watching crochet with me as I'm crocheting. I feel like having someone else next to you, well, not really next to you, but like having someone else crochet with you in the same room is... A rather comforting feeling and you feel like you're sharing your hobby with someone and you don't feel alone so since i personally myself really enjoy watching crochet with me videos i was like why not just make one of my own and also people can take inspiration from this video which is really what i want my videos to be about i would love to be an inspiration for other people to just start making art like, no matter what it is, no matter the level you're at, no matter how good you are, how bad you are, just start making art. This part is like magic because you have this thing that looks like a flower, and then you fold it and wrap the chain that you made around it, and suddenly you have a butterfly. I'm trying to decide if I should weave in all the ends right now, or make it a future me problem and weave them in at the end, and absolutely hate myself and hate my life for it. 
There's nothing more annoying than being almost done with a project but then you have like 800,000 of these just hanging loose and then you have to like go in and weave in all of them one by one and ka -chow. We have a butterfly This is Denver Night 2 Starlight and Back to December if I remember correctly This is Denver night one done. In total, I managed to make six butterflies tonight. So these two and then these four. So I think that's pretty good. So I would say that I was working for like an hour and like 20 minutes, 15 minutes. I'm not really sure. But that's it for tonight. But yeah, for now I'm gonna go to sleep because it's getting quite late. Hi, it is the next day. Although you can't really tell because I get zero natural sunlight in my room which is super awesome for my mental health but I'm sitting at my desk and I'm gonna start crocheting Basically my plan of action is to have three strands or like I guess you could call them vines hanging off and then I'm gonna have them connected to a piece of like stick or something obviously and then I'm gonna have like the butterflies hung on there i'm gonna either glue them on or sew them on i don't know yet and then i'm gonna separate the shows by little leaves so i'm gonna like crochet a leaf to then show that like these were all for one show so it's a lot later and i've actually moved onto the floor because i just need like a change and today i think i've made um eight butterflies like i don't know i've low-key lost count so i'm just gonna really quickly arrange all the butterflies that i've made based on like the shows and then put them like into the groups and then i'll continue on making more butterflies butterflies for 10 cities so far um chicago is not complete yet i actually don't know how many i have left because i haven't been really counting it that well i've made 24 so far and i think there was like a total of 53 shows which i thought there was like 52 but apparently not so that would mean that i have like 29 more butterflies to make so yeah I'm just gonna keep on making as much as I can until the end of tonight. Eleven thirty PM and I've made a total of thirty seven butterflies if I'm not mistaken and it's for a total of 15 cities i have only i think 16 more shows left which is pretty good i think that i can finish it tomorrow if i like wake up super early but yeah this is where i'm leaving it off for tonight i'm just i've sectioned them into like the cities i've tried to keep the sectioning that i did before so yeah these are like stacks of three and these are stacks of two but yeah i'll see you guys tomorrow <laughs> guys i'm forcing my friend to crochet with me <laughs> These are the butterflies that we ended up making. We slayed, honestly. Love, love, love. Slayed. <laughs> so my friend just left and it is currently 1 a.m. And I've only made that just one butterfly today. And I'm going to bed. So I'll see you guys tomorrow.
Okay, so it's 11 p.m. the next day, and I just got done making the last two butterflies, and I've stacked them in order of the shows in every city, and I'm gonna start making, like, the little vines tomorrow, but I also have to, like, um, measure the place where I'm gonna hang them from, and then, like, calculate how many stitches or how many chains I'll have to do, but I'll figure all of that tomorrow. Right now, I'm just going to sleep. So just to explain a bit on what I did, I first divided the number of the shows by 3 because I have 3 strands and it came out to around 17 and 18, so that's the number of butterflies per strand. Then I measured the length of a butterfly which is around 4 centimeters, and then I also decided I want the little dividers between the cities to sit at 4 centimeters. Then I went back to the spreadsheet and started counting the shows based on the cities and basically wrote down and calculated how many butterflies and dividers I need are needed per strand. And then finally, I multiplied the number of the butterflies by the length, which was 4, and then I also calculated how much length the dividers would take and then added 7 centimeters of extra space from both the top and the bottom to each chain, and then eventually decided that each strand should be around 110 centimeters. I'm trying to decide what green to use for the strands. And I'm just gonna put some of the butterflies against both of the yarns and just see which one I like best. Alright, so I think that for the shows where the second surprise song was from Debut, they just generally look better against a darker background because the green that I use for the color of Debut is like, it's not similar to this, but they're both like a lighter green, like they have lighter undertones. And I think that the rest of them would look good against this darker green, like even the Midnight's color and Reputation, like you can still, like it still pops. So I think I'm gonna try with this one first and then if I didn't like it, then I can obviously just go back and make it with the lighter green. And then for the part where it's gonna like act as the branch or the stick where the garlands are gonna hang from, I have these like wooden cylinders and I was gonna glue them together. We have like this glue that is liquid and then you put it and then there's like a spray for it and then you spray it and it hardens. But I could only find a spray. I don't know where the glue is. So I'm gonna try another method, which is basically these little tiny needles. I'm gonna try to hammer one into one of these and then cut the other end and then try to like make a hole onto the other one and then just see how that goes this is either gonna be a brilliant idea or a disastrous one stay tuned to find out <laughs> okay so it is getting hammered in but it keeps on bending so I'm not sure if that's gonna cause an issue or not. I'm just really quickly trying to fix it off camera and see if I can like put it in maybe a little bit further more and then see what happens. I just made the hole in the other one as well and now I'm gonna see if it's deep enough for this one to go in it. Wait, it's actually working. wait that worked pretty well oh my god i'm gonna wrap um brown yarn around this strand that i made so that it's like a little bit more sturdy and i'm gonna tape around this area as well the only problem that i have is just that it's like the slightest bit off centered um you can't really tell but okay you can kind of tell here you see how the the one on top sits a little bit further to the right so I'm gonna tape this up a bit. I'm gonna tape this up and then see if it gets sturdier. is the stick part done i'm gonna start making the chain and this is like fairly thin yarn it's the same um thickness as the yarn that i used to make the butterflies so i'm actually gonna triple ply this and crochet it with like a four or five millimeter hook so i actually hate the dark green because it just looks black especially when it's crocheted in with the other yarn as well so i think that i'm just gonna do it with a lighter one 
even though it wasn't my original plan and like my main concern is like the color for debut clashing with the green but i think that it should be fine i tried um doing just with one strand of yarn and i think i like it better <laughs> what are you doing <laughs> i think that my main issue with it was that it was too thick but i still think that it might look better with the lighter green The second strand is done and the finishing line is so close but it's just taking me so long because I broke my glue gun so what I've been doing is like this is the glue that goes in the glue gun right I've been holding up a lighter to it and then melting it bit by bit and then putting it at the back of these butterflies and then sticking them on I actually burnt myself I dropped a very big glob of hot glue on my fingers so so the garland is finally finished and I can't believe it. I have it just hanging up on my tripod now before I go and hang it in my room. But so a couple of problems that I've ran into. The reason why I wanted to use a thicker chain from the very beginning was because I knew that it was going to twist like this. So that's kind of an issue that's bothering me. But I can just um, use little push pins every now and then on the strand and just nail the chain onto the wall so that it doesn't twist. Let's go and hang it on my wall now. This is actually where I'm gonna hang the garland. Um, you guys can see my little adventures there. But yeah, this is where I'm gonna hang it. It's right under this chair and it's like right next to my little yarn stash. So let's hang it up together. Okay, I am actually in love with how this turned out. I am super happy with it. At some point when I was putting it together, I was very skeptical about it, but I think it was because I was working on it for so long. I'm sorry if you guys can hear that, it's my cat. I think that this makes for a very cute room decor and I just love this little area in my room. It's a little bit messy now, but it's just so nice and so cozy. It's like my little crochet corner and I'm just obsessed with it. This was it for today's video. If you guys enjoyed it, please make sure to give it a thumbs up as I worked really hard on this video. And if you make your own garland, whether it's an Aristor surprise song or just any butterfly garland of any sorts, I would love to see it. So these are my socials. Make sure that you tag me. I hope you guys have a good day and I'll see you in my next video.